Hello everyone! Again, this is Dexter from FabLab Mindanao. And for today's episode on how to operate a 3D printer, we have a very special guest all the way to the south from Sambuanga City. And then he is also the chief resident of the Department of Otorhinolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery in Sambuanga Medical Center Hospital in Sambuanga City. So last March, we have our event called Fab Health. It is for our nurses and doctors program. And also, he is our industry lecturer on digital fabrication in health innovation. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, the program was canceled story time. So when I first know Dr. Renter, it was introduced by our manager, Mr. Archie Velasco. And then Dr. Renter asked me to print his own model. It is a skull and it's a five-day printing. So Dr. Renter asked me a favor because his 3D printer is, I think it has a problem. But yeah, since Dr. Renter is our collaborator. Then I said yes, and then I stayed here in FabLab for almost four to five days just to check his design. So when the design was finished, I go to some of the couriers here in Iligan City. I sent it to him. The design was successful, and I am very thankful and honored to know Dr. Renter from Sambuanga City. And yeah, without further ado, let's all welcome Dr. Renter Y. Cafino from Sambuanga Bonga City Medical Center. So a very, very, very brief discussion about 3D printing. 3D printing or additive manufacturing is a process of three-dimensional solid objects from a digital file. So if you ask me what is digital file, so in the previous video I showed you Autodesk Fusion 360 and SketchUp. So that software's you can make a 3D model there and then send it to your 3D printer. So here in FabLab, we have a bunch. We have nine 3D printers. So we have four Ultimakers. We have here Ultimaker 3 Extended, which is the latest model of our 3D printer here. So it has two print heads. So if there's two print heads, then we can operate two designs. So we have here our not so old but we have here Ultimaker 2 Extended Plus, which has one print head only. So we have also here any cubic i3 mega. So this one is different from the Ultimakers because Ultimakers has 300 by 300 build plate, meaning the bed of the 3D printer. This one has 205, 205 build plate size. So also we have also here when I first enter from Labina now, this one is already here the CR10 Chris Reality 3D printer and now we have our tallest 3D printer this one is TiVo Delta Monster 3D printer this one is very different because as you can see there are square build plate but this one is round and the height of the Z is 500 also we name our 3D printers by a fictional character so this one is Hagrid because he's tall this one is Gambit Chris Reality this one any cubic is Dark Vader and we have the Ninja Turtles. This one Tenetu, is Leonardo and this one is Michelangelo. Donatello and Raphael is on repair. So as you can see, the vacant slots here is Donatello and Raphael. And those 3D printers are FDM meaning fused deposition manufacturing or additive manufacturing. If you can make one layer, it just put another layer up, 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 up until the 3D model is done. So we have here, this one is very, very different from the other 3D printers. We have, I like it called Venom, but our manager called like it's Tyrion. So Tyrion here is a resin type 3D printer. That's the resin. This is the container and the bed is here up, up here. So when he is processing the 3D model, the bed here only dips, dips, dips and there's a UV light there that will make the resin hard So until the 3D model is done. So yeah, that's it. So I will give this next tutorial on 3D printer operation by our special collaborator, Dr. Rentor Y. Cafino. Dr. Rentor! <laughs> Three D printing has evolved a lot through the years. Not so long ago, three D printers were huge, mammoth-sized machines that were not available to the regular person. As technology advanced, 
these 3D printers soon became small and affordable enough for the regular consumer to possess. These printers came in do-it-yourself kits that required a considerable amount of know-how and patience to get to work. Today, many 3D printers are affordable and can be used out of the box with little to no adjustments. If you're thinking about getting a 3D printer, already own one but are just getting started, or just overall curious about 3D printing, then stay tuned for today's Fab Live episode. There are many brands of 3D printers, but for this video, I will be using the Ultimaker 3. 3D printing can be broken down into three steps. Preparing the file, preparing the printer, and finally, printing the file. Before an object can be 3D printed, its file must be prepared in a process called slicing. This can be done by a slicing software such as Cura. To do this, open up the program then, on the upper left, click on the folder icon and select the file of choice. You can also simply drag and drop the file directly into Cura, like so. On the lower right, click on Slice and wait until the process is complete. Once this is done, we are now ready to transfer the file to the printer, but before we do that, Let's make sure that the printer is all prepped. In the most basic sense, a 3D printer must have a clean, level bed and filament loaded for it to be able to print. Most modern 3D printers have auto-leveling features. However, if yours is not equipped with it, I suggest you watch a video dedicated to bed leveling as the topic is time-consuming and beyond the scope of this video. To load the filament, Turn the dial on the printer and select Material slash Printhead. The Ultimaker 3 can hold two filaments at the same time, but for this video, we will only load one. We will then select Material 1 and then select Load. Mount the filament spool onto the filament holder like so. Insert the tip of the filament into the hole below the feeder and give it a firm push. The feeder gear will grab the filament and slowly pull it upward. It's important to wait until a small part of the filament is visible in the tube before pressing confirm on the dial. This will rapidly pull the filament up and into the hot end. Once you see filament coming out of the nozzle, press confirm. This will end the loading process. Now, our printer is ready to print. Transferring the file to the printer could be done using a USB, micro SD card, or simply sending the file wirelessly through the slicing software, like so. Once done, the 3D printer will automatically start the print and all we have to do is wait. The printer will notify you once the printing has completed. Wait for the build plate to cool down before removing the print like so. Three D printing has been a huge part of our department as we have utilized its versatility in many of our innovations and projects, especially during this COVID-19 crisis. I would like to thank FabLab for this opportunity to share my love for 3D printing with you guys. I hope that you learned something from this video.